We're back for the Oscars, and I got the celebratory Black Panther hoodie. Let's go! Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd. I'm your host, Zach Steiner. If you're new around here on Yeah, we pull from every corner of nerd culture, talk about anything and everything that piques my interest. Oscar season is officially over for the year, and I did the unspeakable. I actually watched the Oscars this year, and uh, it was it was actually not that bad. Today, we're here to start our reviews of all of the year's Best Picture nominees. For the past three years, it's been really fun to watch and review all of the films that were nominated for the biggest award in the film industry. 2017's nominees held some of my favorite films to this day, while 2018 showcased a much weaker docket. Fortunately though, 2019 was a pretty solid year for movies overall, and so our Best Picture nominees are pretty good. Like, we actually have some of the best of the best. We'll be doing things pretty much exactly how I did them last year. You'll get an episode you already earned on each of the nine Best Picture nominees. I'll give you my personal opinions on them and whether or not they deserve to even get a shot at winning Best Picture this year. And then we'll do a ranking of all nine films. I'm also working my way through the list of the overall 53 films that got a single nomination at the Oscars. So I'll be doing a ranking of all of those. I'm really, really close to being done. That's been really fun. But with all that being said, let's start this event with the first of those films that I personally watched back in December, and that is Marriage Story. What I love about Nicole, she is a mother who plays, really plays. What I love about Charlie, he loves being a dad. He loves all the things you're supposed to hate, like waking up at night. If you don't know anything about it, 2019's Marriage Story was directed and written by Noah Baumbach and stars Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver as they work their way through a very unepic divorce. Marriage Story also got a nomination for Adam Driver for Best Actor, Scarlett Johansson for Best Actress, Laura Dern for Best Supporting Actress, Best Original Score, and Best Original Screenplay. I really enjoyed this film. I saw a lot of films in 2019, but in the past couple of months, I've really been on the movie hype train watching one to two films a day, and it really all started back in December with Marriage Story. Everything about this film just clicked for me. At first, I really didn't know how I would feel about it, because personally, I'm very fortunate that I've had both of my parents in my life. They've been together for over 30 years now, and I hope I'll never have to see or experience a divorce up close. But from what I've heard from friends and even other family members is that it's always nasty, no matter how cordial you'll try to be. And Marriage Story captures that messy exchange extremely well. It should, especially considering Noah Baumbach wrote the screenplay based on his own divorce. We're kind of gonna be talking about some spoilers, but not really, because I can't explain all the nuances and the editing and the performances just by telling you about their divorce. That is the main focal point of this film, so go check it out if you haven't already. We will be talking about some of the aspects of the divorce. But that's what the whole movie is about, it's just about the divorce. So I can't really spoil too much about that. I won't be talking about the ending though, so don't worry about that. We start the film with Charlie and Nicole in couples therapy as they write down the things that they like about each other. And it's beautiful. It's very clear that they have loved each other, but then Nicole doesn't want to read hers out loud and she decides that she doesn't want to do counseling anymore. And from that point onwards, we slowly start to see the underlying problems in that couple's life start to come to fruition. Charlie is a theater director with Nicole being an actress and they both are pretty successful at their craft, but Nicole feels as if Charlie has stunted her growth as an actress. On top of that, Charlie cheated on Nicole. But then we also see that Nicole also has her own issues. She drinks a little bit too much, and she isn't the best mother to their kid. So throughout this entire film, as lawyers get involved and we start to see each side slowly unfold, as the audience, we're constantly torn between each character. Charlie's in the right, but no, now Nicole's in the right. But now it's Charlie, and, and the writing is so good that it shows us that neither of them have really made the best decisions. They're human. They both messed up on numerous occasions to get them to where they are now. And that's where this film really shines for me. Pairing this brilliant writing with the performances of Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson, like I said, it just clicks. Over the past year, both of these actors have easily become some of my favorite actors. Adam Driver is mostly known for being in the most recent Star Wars trilogy, but he was great in 2018's Black Klansman, 2019's The Dead Don't Die, and The Report. 
He's shown to have a wide range of acting chops and every character that he plays is completely different and super believable. Except for the fact that he's always like really angry. Like, like here he is in Star Wars, really angry. And here he is in The Marriage Story, really angry. You always made me aware of what I was doing wrong, how I was falling short. Life with you was joyless. And here he is in Black Klansman. You keep driving, you black spear chucker piece of shit. Oh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna stop that. We're gonna stop that clip a little early. Scarlett Johansson has also wowed me recently when I watched 2013's Her a couple months ago, but also she's fantastic in this, having an entire monologue that just absolutely captivates me with very little camera movement. I, I just, the fact that I never once got bored just tells me how well these actors are doing here. And it's just amazing what these actors can do when they're not in big CGI Disney movies. Not only do both actors carry the script really well, but I think the editing complements it super well that if I had it my way, I'd put Marriage Story up for best editing at the Oscars this year. Editing should be subtle. It shouldn't be something super noticeable unless it's part of a specific style. So it's this lack of editing in certain scenes that just help you hold your attention just a little bit more, making you feel uncomfortable watching these characters argue. There's this scene that went viral on Twitter where Mr. Driver and Scarlett Johansson are yelling at each other. And it's kind of funny out of context, so a lot of people said that it was bad acting. But when you watch the film all the way through, this is the first time that the two of them even raise their voices at each other. So it's the impact here. It's pretty hard. And keep in mind, this is a good hour into the film. And it's not just arguing that is the crux of their characters. They still clearly have some love for each other as we see these small moments where they're doing things for each other and it's happy, but it's also pretty sad. I should also point out that the soundtrack is done by none other than Randy Newman. This was pretty amusing to me. I guess sometimes you have a friend in me, sometimes you have an ex-husband in me. Yikes. It's just a little bit strange, but I think it does fit pretty well. I don't want to spoil the ending, like I said earlier, but the ending is bittersweet. And I don't think there's any other way it could have gone. And uh, I, I really like it. Overall, Marriage Story is obviously fantastic. I really love this film. Everything about it is great. I have zero gripes with it. If you haven't seen it already, definitely check it out. It's actually a Netflix original, so if you have a Netflix subscription, you can go watch it today. But what about its nominations? Well, as far as soundtrack goes, it's definitely not one of my favorite of the year, but it's solid enough one. I think Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver both did phenomenal in their roles, so I'm happy they were nominated for Best Actor and Actress, with Laura Dern actually winning Best Supporting Actress. I was a bit confused as to why I think there were better choices in this category, but it's not the worst choice. Both of the lawyers actually, both Laura Dern and Alan Alda from, from MASH, which, which is a surprise to see him here. They both do a great job in their roles and I, I think they definitely added a little bit something extra to the film. As far as best screenplay goes, I definitely think this was an obvious choice. Bombag did such an amazing job at delivering such a tight and impactful script. And since it is based on his own divorce, I think it just helps even more. But obviously the big question is here, does it deserve to be a best picture nominee? And I think it's no surprise, but I definitely think so. I was personally surprised when it got the nomination, but I'm pleasantly surprised nonetheless. It's in my personal top 10 films of 2019, and you can find out exactly where it ranks in my nominees very soon in an upcoming video where I rank all nine of them. But stay tuned, we still got eight more of the nominees left to go. Well, I guess I'm a sellout now. Today's episode of Your Everyday Nerd is brought to you by my Letterbox account. Ooh, that's right. Your boy got a Letterbox. We turned into a pretentious film cuck this year. That's the plan. Oh, not really. I just really have gotten into films over the last couple of months. It's been like this slow descent into madness. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have a Letterbox account. So if you don't know what that is, it is a place where you can log and review every single film that you see. So you can see everything that I've seen in the last two years on that website and as well as a bunch of lists where I rank a bunch of everything including all my 2019 films that I saw. You can see my Oscar Best Picture nominees ranked early so if you want to go check all that stuff out a lot earlier you can check on that link in the description box below. They're not paying me I just wanted to share that I had a Letterboxd account because I think it's a really dope place and I 
want to see more people on it that follow me but also i can hopefully follow some more interesting people that, that review stuff so that would be dope but that's all the time we have for today if you like the video go hit that like button if for reason you didn't like it you can hit that dislike button let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts on marriage story did you like it did you hate it do you think it deserved best picture nominee do you think it deserved to be best picture we know what won now and I'll be talking about that movie actually next because it was the next one that I watched. But in the meantime, I'm curious about your thoughts. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. And until then, goodbye.